Are you feeling hopeless? Disillusioned? Silenced? Betrayed? Secretary Clinton has won the Democratic nominating process. There's a solution. Protest a vote. Protest a vote can make you feel heard again. It's worked for thousands and now comes in new varieties tailor-made for today's trying times. Try Jill Stein, Gary Johnson, or write in. Protest a vote gives you your power back by rejecting the false choice between two bad options. Because after all, you're free to vote for whoever you want. Side effects of protest a vote may include nausea, sweating, pervasive orange skin, two to three decades of conservative Supreme Court decisions, the repeal of the Affordable Care Act, the breakdown of foreign policy and U.S. relationships throughout the Middle East and the rest of the world, extended exposure to unseemly and inorganic hair, trade wars with current economic allies, the violent deportation of 11 million people living within the United States, the blocking of over 1 billion people from entering the United States based on their religion, sudden increase of Russian intelligence, massive tax cuts for the richest Americans, and the further erosion of the economic safety net, tiny and erratic sausage fingers with access to the United States nuclear arsenal, the end of all regulation aimed at turning back global warming, the defunding of Planned Parenthood, a signal to young American girls that misogyny can win the White House and all powerful females are nasty women, historical validation of racism and bigotry as ways to win the hearts of American voters and secure the presidency, worldwide financial collapse, the descent of four horsemen from fiery skies raining pestilence and damnation across the lands, and pussy grabbing. Because I want to feel heard. I want to feel heard. We want to feel heard! Ask your grandchildren if protest a vote is right for you. protest a vote Maybe I'll just stay home. That'll show them. From the makers of Ralph Nader and Brexit.